Hey everybody, in this video we're gonna learn how to play Parcheesi. By the end of this video, you will know how to play Parcheesi. The video is going to be broken into two parts. Part one is how to play, and part two is me playing a game against the computer and you get to watch along. Now, before we get going, two things. Number one, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. I post a lot of different puzzle games, board games, how-to videos. You know that I really over-explain things to make sure that you actually understand it. And the second thing is, sign up for my Patreon page, because on my Patreon page, you get access to me one-on-one. -on -one. Parcheesi can be played with two, three, or four players. And each player has a nest. And in each nest, they have their four chips. I'll be playing in this lower left. This is my nest. And the computer will be here in the upper right. And every person has a different color. The chip color matches the nest color. Also, every player has a final ending that matches their spot. Here's mine. There's the computer's. And the goal of the game is to move your four chips from your nest to your end, and you'll do it by moving them around the board. For example, my four pieces are gonna come out of my nest. They're going to make this counterclockwise circle around the board all the way where they'll come up and into my home base. All four pieces wins me the game. My opponent, in this case the computer, is looking to do the same thing, four pieces around into their home and try to do it faster than I can. For the most part, moving your pieces around a board is very easy. You roll the dice and you move those pieces. You can move each piece individually from the dice. So for example, if you roll a five and a two, you can move one of your chips five and one of your chips two, or you can move them seven. The headline of learning to play Parcheesi is that if you land on a spot where your opponent is, you send your opponent's chip back to the nest. So knowing that essentially you're moving your four pieces around the board, and knowing that if you land on a space that your opponent's on, you send them back to their nest, let's go over the rest of the rules, which aren't many, and then let's play a game. Okay, so let's start with what you need to do to get a piece out of the nest. To take one piece out of your nest, you can only move it out if you roll a five on a single die or the sum of five on the two dice. After you have a piece out of your nest, you can then begin to move it around. But until you roll a five, you could not get a piece out of your nest. Now, if you roll double fives, you are allowed to move two pieces out of your nest into the starting spot because each die is a five, so you have two pieces on your starting spot. And then on the very next turn, you can start to move those pieces around. If you have any questions on that, you'll see as we play the game in just a minute. If a player rolls doubles, after taking their turn, they get to roll again. However, if a player rolls doubles three times in a row on a single turn, then the third double is forfeited, and the player's most advanced token needs to be sent back to the nest. So much like Monopoly, where the punishment is a third double sends you to jail, Parcheesi goes all the way back and into your nest. So the next thing are the safety spaces. You see all these gray spaces with stars? Well, these are safety spaces. And if you land on one of these safety spaces, an opponent cannot send you back to your nest. If you're on a safety space, no one else can come and rest on your safety space. So no two tokens of different colors can rest on the same safety space at the same time. So resting on a safety space is good because you don't have to worry about that piece being sent back. So let's talk about a blockade. A blockade is formed when two pieces from the same player occupy the same space. Once you've done that, another player cannot pass a blockade. So if you were to create a blockade of two pieces and another player's token is coming up behind it, they actually can't pass your blockade. However, that if you roll doubles, then you are forced to break up blockade. So as you're moving around the board, if you roll doubles, one of those two pieces in the blockade must be moved. Let's talk about your home base. You want to get your pieces in your home base. You need to have an exact roll to get in. So if you're here, which is four spaces away from your actual home base here, you need to roll a four or a two plus a two or a three plus a one. You have to get into the nest on your exact roll. Now, this entire lead up to your final home spot is a safe space for you. If you are able to get your piece in here, then no 
longer your lead piece. This piece is never sent back to the nest. This piece can also not be hit by another player because no other player is going to come into your home. So if a piece is in this home row, then it's protected. So just a couple extra rules before we get going, and it's really simple, and that's some rewards. There's two ways you can get rewards. Number one is by hitting another player and sending them back to the nest. In addition to sending a player's token home to their home nest, the reward for sending the opponent's player back to their home nest is you get to pick a piece and get 20 moves. You can't split it between pieces. You can take one single piece and advance that piece 20 spaces. So there's a huge incentive to send somebody back to the beginning. The other reward is if you land is for getting a piece into your home space. Once you get a piece in the home space, you can move another piece that's working its way around the board 10 spaces. Again, you can't split them between two pieces. Okay, let's walk through a game. I'm here in the lower left which is the red. My opponent is here in the upper right, which is the yellow. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just playing with two players, myself and the computer. So let's play. I'll roll and I got a five. So it allows me to move my man out on a five and move my piece six. My opponent did not roll a five, could not get out. My turn again, I roll a six and a two. I'm not able to get another piece out of my nest because you need a five either in a single die or some of two die. So I have a six and a two. I can move him six and I can move him then two. My opponent rolls a three and a one, still stuck in their nest. I roll a three and a three. Again, I have no choice because I only have one token. I had double, so I get to go again. I roll a five and a two. So I'll take with that five my next piece out of the nest. And now I can move a two. I have the option of moving this piece two or this piece two. I'll just keep moving this piece around. My opponent still trying to get even a single token out of their nest. I'll move this one six and another one. Might as well keep it on the safe space. My opponent rolled double two, so they get to roll again, but still didn't get a five by either one or two dice. My turn, a three and a one. I'll just keep moving around the board with my three and my one. My opponent double ones, and now double five, so they're able to get two out, and they roll again. That's their second double, by the way. So they've moved to piece four, and then three, they've put that on the safe space. My turn, a five and a three, so with the five, I'm able to take my third token out of the nest, and now I have a three. I'm going to advance this one, put it on the safe space. My opponent got a four and a one, which sums total five, and they took a piece out of the nest. So we both have three of our tokens out of the nest. A six and a two, I'm going to move my piece six, and then I'll move it another two. My opponent got a five and a three, so what he did first is he moved one three, which freed up the bar for him to move his fourth piece out of the nest. He already had two pieces there, so you can't have three pieces he had to move one piece three so that he could bring his other piece out on a five. He now has all four pieces out, and he's created a blockade for me here that I cannot pass. I have a three and a one. I'll move it three and then one. My opponent gets a six and a four and starts to move all of his pieces around. I have a two and a one. I guess I'll move this one two and one. My opponent has a five and a two. Now, even though I have a one and a one, I'm not actually able to take my opponent off their home base. I talked about spaces with stars on them, the gray spaces is three spaces, but actually your home base is also the same thing. I can't move one more one to take him off. So I'll move this one one. Doubles roll again. I got a two and a three, which takes my fourth man out because it totals five. My opponent has a two and a three. And again, I cannot touch that opponent there. I'll just keep moving this man around three and one. Five and two. I'll continue with a two and a one. I got a four and a five. One of the things that I'm not doing really with this piece here is I didn't want to move him forward on a two or a three, even though I can leapfrog this yellow opponent. 
he would easily be able to catch up, perhaps take me off. But with a four and a five, I feel like maybe I can move him four and five and really get a, a distance. I have a five and a one. I can continue. I'll move this one five and I'll move this one one. I don't want to get caught by the opponent behind me. Double two, so I get to move two twice. So I'll move this one and move it again and take my doubles. A six and a four. There's a blockade here, so I actually can't move this piece a six or a four because of that. I might as well move this one six and move it another four. I sent him home and I get to move a piece 20 spaces. Now, I can't move this piece 20 spaces because of the blockade and I can't move this 20 spaces because of the blockade. So I guess I'll move this one. My opponent five and a two, they've come out. If they get a one next time, they could send me home. So I get a six and a one. I think I will try to get away from him where there's the six, puts me out of safe space and a one. My opponent keeps moving around the board. I can move this one too. I can't move it four because of the blockade. And I'll just keep moving this one around. Double six is for my opponent. He has to break his blockade. And so he moves one piece six and another piece six and sends me home and moves a piece 20 spaces. My turn. I have a three and a two, which is a five. So I'm able to get mine out. He gets double fives. And so he moves five and five and rolls again. And just creates another blockade there. Any of my pieces six or one, I might as well move my, I'm going to leave that because it's on a safe space. I might as well move this one, which is not a safe space, around. My opponent slowly moves his way around. I've got a four and a three. I might as well keep moving my pieces around four and three. My opponent is very close to getting a piece into their home base. And I'm getting a lot of sort of low rolls, two, and I'm gonna move this one to one. A lot of low rolls in this game, a lot of twos and ones and things. Okay, six and a two, I'll move myself six, and then another two. Opponent six and four, So I have a six and a five. Let's keep moving this one as a six and as a five. So they have one piece in their home base. They get to move 10. So now that if I roll a five, I might be able to move him five and send my opponent home. That helps me. Now with the six, I'll just keep going. Oh, I get to move 20 spaces and then I'll just keep going with my six. My opponent needs a five to get back out of his nest, so he's just moving a six and four. I have double ones. I'm forced to break up my blockade there, so I might as well now move my other one. I'll move this one six and one. Opponent moves four and four, gets doubles, gets doubles again, and gets a five and a one, is able to take his man out. So I've got a three and a four. I'm going to move four. That creates that blockade there. And then I guess I'll keep moving my around. Double fours, I'm forced to break up my blockade. So I'll just keep that. Doubles, I get to roll again. A six and a four. I'll advance this one six. And I'll advance him another four. My opponent is looking like they're getting, they have one man in their home, and now they're getting another man close to their home lane. I've got a six and a one. I'm going to move a piece six and one. Get one piece close to my home lane. So that's the second piece my opponent has in their home lane. I'm going to go ahead and move this piece around, and then I'll continue with this one. I have a six and a two. I will move this one six, which will get it close to the home. And the next time I get a one, I can move him in. 
My opponent now has two men, and they're going to move as a reward one man ten. I've got a five and a one. Well, certainly the one gets me in, plus now I get to move ten spaces. So let's move this guy ten spaces. And I still have a five to move. Let's move him another five. Now I'm getting two men close to my home base. That'll give me a six. And how about the three to at least put them in my home lane? My opponent had doubles. They have three people now in their home lane. I've got a four and a one. Let's move a four and let's move a one. My opponent, five and three. Well, that is kind of what I was waiting for. I wanted them to move. They're eight spaces away from me. And you can see there's numbers on the board to help do the math. I would love to go after them, but I'll just move it four and stay close behind them. I'll move it six, actually, and stay two behind them. I'll move this one four. So they're just going to continue to work their way around the board. They have doubles, six and a three, three and six. Oh, I better move my man to a home base. I'll move it six to get into the home base, and then I'll just start to move this one around. He had doubles. He rolls again, five and a two. So I've got the three that allows me to put that man in there, and I can move ten spaces, and then I can move another five. My opponent still coming around. It looks like it's a bit of a horse race here. So I can move this one three, but I can't move them another three because I, I only have one more space to go. I'll move this one, the other three. And now I get to roll again because I doubles. Well, there's the one and it advances me 10 spaces. And I can't use the five because I'm only four away now. So he also has double fives. And he also is able to get both men in his home base. It was sort of a dumb move by the computer there because they could have moved this piece too, would have given them 10 spaces, and I believe that would have put them all the way home. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. So I roll four and a one. I can take the four, and I've won the game. Very simple game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget about my Patreon page where you can play with me one-on-one, -on -one, this game or other games. And also, if there's a game you want to learn or want to see me play and it's not on my channel yet, please let me know. I'm constantly putting up new content every day. I'm trying to experiment with even some unique ideas. For example, like this one here, where I have to solve a puzzle in 10 minutes or I'll eat dog food.